everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I won the race. And I can choose between fur, coral, and two question mark swords. And, um, I think I will take the fur. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, in honor of your victory over the previous MacLad, I'd like to offer you the title of MacLad. Alright. And we gain a wonderful new title. Isn't that great? Yays. I'm happy. And with our wonderful title, we have a little bit more to do in Alvanissa. Rise to the challenge again sometime. Yeah, not now. <laughs> I'm so happy I made it, it took me a little while. And um, I really had the controller problems. I told you about it, wasn't a lie. And uh, yeah, I made it now, that's great. Okay, now we have to go to the castle for a certain reason, because we have to talk to all these uh, wonderful nice guys in there. Okay, let's find the basement. We have Oh, I know. I guess I know where we have to go. Well, we have to go to the basement because there are the uh, uh, blub blub, the professors, the researchers. Wait, is it here? No. And they are going to tell us interesting stuff about what to do next. Here we go into the laboratory. Oh, she's a magic user, is she not? Shall I sell you a spell book? Which would you like? Tractor beam or thunder blade? Tell. Thunder blade. Do we want it? Yes. Thunder blade. It's really, really expensive. We got that one and the other one. Hope we have enough money left. Which would you like? Um, tractor beam. Four thousand. You don't have enough money. Arg. Okay, so that's uh, kind of good that I took the fur. No, it's wrong, 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 wrong. Ah, this castle is so confusing. I mean, why is the entrance not in front? So everything would be easier, but no, you have to walk over 300 staircases. And I still do not know where I am. Oh my god. Oh, there is it. And we go out again and into your shop. La 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 la. Okay, in here. Hello. I don't want to buy your armor. I don't care about it. I want to sell. Ding 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 ding. Where is it? Where is the fur? There it is. Three thousand and sixty. Yes, we sell that. And now we have enough money enough money to buy the tractor beam. We can run. Yes. I ran a lot in the last hours <laughs> to finish this stupid race. And it was really hard, I can tell you. I think I already said that, but I have to say it more often because it really was hard. Okay, get in here and hello. Oh, she's a magic user. Yes. Um, I want the tractor beam. For a thousand. Yes. We need all we can get. Nice. Okay. Hello. Have you obtained the pass for entering the Molia mine shaft? What? Not yet. The adventurer's guild is in the basement of the apothecary on the west side of the city. Yeah, I know that. I just thought you could tell me some stuff. Spirits? The fire spirit of Freed dwells in the cavern that lies amid the desert of Freyland. We have to keep that in mind. And we get two other information we need. Kalala! They say magic attack would prove quite handy if, uh, if it could only be put to practical use. But the whole premise sounds highly questionable to me. After all, you can't unleash such, po such power without severe consequences. No, that's not what I wanted to hear. Spirits? Let me think. The water spirit Undine dwells in the limestone cave on the isolated island of the North Sea. The earth spirit Gnome dwells in the cavern of spirits east of Felidem. Does that help? Yes, it helps a lot, because there we go first. Perhaps there's a connection with the magic circle. Yeah, nice. I want something interesting to know. In terms of an algorithm... Oh my god, keep away with math. Um, I exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've been burning the midnight oil. And what do you say? I must try harder. 
Yeah, you should. So, but there is something else I'm looking for in the castle. There should be the Ishitori Master. I'm still very inexperienced. I hope to become a, as worthy as a, a, as worthy a man as my father and devote myself to our subjects. So where is Mr. Ishitori? He should know that's the balcony. So in here, Mr. King, please come to see us anytime, whatever the problem. Yeah, you could give me money. Wherever you may go, I pray that the goddess of good fortune smiles upon you. Nice. So well, um, no, what is, oh no, that's the, that's over here is the king's sleeping room, yeah. So, the Ishitori, um, man is going to play a game with us called Ishitori. There he is, Ishitori Master, want to play a game, so wait, just a short second, okay. And, um, hey, you want to play a game, I'll give you a present if you win. And we challenge him to a game. Wanna hear the rules? Yes. It's you against me in a game of Ishitori. In Ishitori, players take turns removing stones from a pile. The person who takes the last stone loses. You can take up to three stones on each of your turns. Also, you can't skip your turn. You must take at least one stone. But don't think too long because there is a time limit. If time runs out, you must take the same number as the last player. If you change your mind, just cancel your correct current selection. Okay, let's get started. This pot contains 21 stones. Wanna go first? Uh, yes. Okay, game on. How many will I take? Um, three. I will take three. Yeah, of course. One. Oh, I did it wrong, okay. Three. He takes one, if you take three, of course. So that's how to lose this game. So I lost. Well, we wanted to play again. Hey, what do you want? Guard duty ain't easy. Huh, you wanna know about spirits? Why would I know anything about that? Go ask the people at the magical research lab. Oh wait. Now that I think about it, there is this old folk tale I heard. Once upon a time there were no monsters as there are today. A certain group of wicked people spread poison across the lands. They were trained to dominate the world with their poison. The moon spirit descended to earth in an attempt to thwart their plan. But the moon's light was the source of power for other spirits, and so they were captured by the wicked people on one moonless night. Those wicked people were some king or other and his followers. I can't remember the rest of the story. Sorry. Uh, it doesn't matter, you were talking too much anyway. Okay, we play again. And, um... We have to s No, I didn't want to hear the rules! Oh my god. Okay, um, thing is that we have to stay in a... On a row of certain numbers. And, um... I will post the row of the numbers into the description box. But it tell, he tells us it's 22 stones. So we want to go first, yes. And we want to get down to 21 stones. We take one stone. He takes two. Now there are 19, we have to go to 17. Okay, two. And 16, we're gonna go to 13. We take three. He takes three, there are to 10, we want to go to nine. He takes two. We take two. He takes one. We take three. And he lost. Seems you've beat me. Here's a present, just as I promised. Miracle gel. Okay, and we have to play one more game. I hope I can make it in time. Yeah. We challenge. Wanna hear the rules? No. Okay, I hope I make it in time. I hope I make it in time. This pot contains 43 stones. So we want to start and we want to take two to go down to 41. We want to go down to 37, so we take three. He takes two, we take two. He takes three, we take one. He takes one and we take three. Two and we take two. 
because we want to go to 21. He takes three. We take one. And 16, we want to go to 13. And we want to get two. So we get down to nine. And three. There are four stones left. We will take three. And he lost again. Here's a present just as I promised. We got a spirit ring. And we get a new title. You're known as the Ishitori Master. That's it for this episode guys. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!